Oh, that's it. I've had it with this dump. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. Okay, just call. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes, and this is an ongoing topic that we've been discussing here on Thinking Critical YouTube, and it's the the turmoil that's been going on for with IDW for quite a few years now. They've had a succession of just enormous quarterly losses. Last quarter, it wasn't as bad uh, as, as the previous ones. A lot of that had to do with the pandemic kind of shutting things down, and now things are getting... Even worse, after the Chris Royale decided to leave IDW, they named some new executives to the board. Like I said, it's got worse. We'll get to the details here in a minute, but with here with me to talk about this is my good friend, Perch. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, I, I, it's like you said. We This has been an ongoing story, and that's, that's kind of the problem, but <laughs> we'll get into it. Before we get totally into it, I do want to say, if, if you're here and you haven't subscribed, are you thinking critical yet? Like, what are you thinking? This is the best YouTube comic book content you're, you're going to find uh, other than purchase channel. So definitely subscribe to the channel. And, and if you want a double dose of comic book goodness, go down to the video description, click on the link to purchase channel, go subscribe there, or you can wait to the very end of the video in the last 30 seconds. It's going to be a big icon with this channel logo. You can click right there and subscribe that way too. But this is the place to be for all the comic book news and it's coming hot and heavy this week, Perch. It, it is, and and you're absolutely you know please everybody you should subscribe here. Thinking Critical is a great channel, and and keep in mind the amount of content that you're getting here is uh, not to be a, a super plug, but you're getting multiple videos uh, a day, and you're getting so much news in a lot of cases faster. I mean, just on this story alone, I'm looking at some of the other comic book uh, news sites, and they haven't even started covering this yet. So you'll get it first and fastest here, and, and so you'd be crazy not to sub. I agree. Now let's read the article because there is one up from ICV2.com, which kind of covers the business side of comic books and, and yep. other kind of nerd culture stuff. And this is what uh, Milton Greep's uh, article said. Judd Myers, whose promotion to publisher at IDW Publishing was announced just last week, has been placed on administrative leave. The company made the announcement to employees at a company town hall last Friday in his role as publisher. Meyer was in charge of editorial, sales, and creative services. Meyer's promotion was announced in conjunction with the announcement of Jerry Bennington's promotion to president and Rebecca Kahalen's promotion to general manager and executive vice president of operations for both IDW Publishing and IDW Entertainment. These moves were made as a result of the departure of Chris Ryle as president, publisher, and chief creative officer. So, Perch... Yeah. Only five days on the job. Are they not vetting people over there at IDW? They promote him up to, to this big position as publisher, which is extremely important for a, for a comic book a publisher like IDW. You know, he's, he's basically the straw that, that stirs the drink over there. Five yeah. days later, they have to put him on administrative leave. Obviously, they haven't said what it is yet, but I think I know what it is. I mean, he they, in a, a job like that, they've got their hands in everything. They're touching all parts of the business. They're getting kind of deep and inserted into uh, lots of the staff. And maybe, you know, that that sums up the problem. I don't know, but it, it is it is a case where you've got uh, somebody who has been with the company for a while. So, I mean, this is bad on multiple fronts. I mean, it was it was stupid to promote the person to this level. It was, uh, it, it's alarming that you, you, <laughs> you put him in and five days later, there's such an event that's causing uh, you know the person to basically to be put on administrative leave to to be you know, pushed out, um, who's been with the company. So these these aren't you know aren't going to be new problems. Whatever does finally surface, uh, it it just reinforces and underlines that IDW is is uh, just spiraling at this point. Yeah, it's just an enormous trash fire. You know, uh, going on administrative leave that means he, you know he's somewhat he's like pending investigation. They're they're trying to wrap some things up. They can't fire him legally, but they don't want him associated with the company right now. Those are big yeah. boy. Those are big boy problems. It is. It's, this isn't like a love bombing or something. Uh, somebody who's too friendly to somebody else. This is, this is always further along. Now, certainly is a case. Sometimes people go on administrative leave, and investigation happens, and turns out, you know, hey, they're they're innocent or no problems. That does happen. Very very rarely it happens, but it does happen. And and you know, you hope. That that's going to be the outcome here that you know for all the stuff that went on that this is a, a big misunderstanding but regardless of that you, you don't put somebody in a position and then five days later immediately have to jerk that position out from under them that just spells chaos 
for a company that already looks from from outside investors, uh, customers, potential creative talents wanting to work with them, already looks like they're not the most stable company in the world financially. Obviously, Chris Royale uh, just left. Before that, they they fired several prominent senior personnel within the comic book division that had been there for years, like since the beginning of IDW, had to get rid of them due to the furloughs and everything that went on with COVID. So it already didn't feel like it was on the, the strongest ground. And then you have to look at look at this and you're like, what kind of decision makers do they have at the upper echelon at IDW that they would put somebody that obviously had some baggage? You would hope that they would have known about this, but they, they put them in that, that position anyway. It feels like it's the blind leading the blind over IDW. And I don't want IDW to go away. I think they have great comic books. Uh, yeah, but it it does it almost feels inevitable at this point. Yeah, no, it, it it's hard to see any way out of this. I I think, and it, it is if you are I mean, the key is that company right now needs investment. It needs people to come in and help stabilize it. It needs funding, and anybody who's going to put their money into that company at the levels they need, which is hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars into that company is going to do some vetting. They're gonna do some background checks. They're gonna say, how stable is the management team? How, how good are the decision processes? Am I putting my money someplace that's gonna give me increased liability? Those are the questions people ask. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your executive team is as buttoned up as possible because that's the very first place people look. And this is just rolling out absolute chaos. No, nobody is going to come in and want to put money into this group where you've got a revolving door of managers. And if you're keeping track at home, you've got Chris Rael, you know, leaves back in 2018, comes back in December of 2018, stays for a little over a year, leaves, a new team comes in. It's a new team. Five days later, somebody else is placed on administrative leave. That is a, a huge, it's like a blinking red light saying, do not put your money here as an investor. And you're absolutely right. They've got some good comics. They've got, the, you know, we need more publishers. They're they're dropping like flies in a lot of cases right now, either with scandals or creators saying they're not going to work with them or whatever else. We don't need any of this. This is this is absolutely unhealthy and it's, it's mind blowing to watch. A continuation of just weird circumstances. We know the CEO, Howard Jonas, basically had loaned IDW in total like $25 million dollars. And they've been trying to pay him off. And supposedly when they sold him CTM, like their brochure division that didn't quite fit in with the company, they sold that to him and they gave him like a, like I think it was 1.4, $1.6 million worth of bonds or stocks, you know, in the company to kind of pay him off on his, on his debts. Would you want to go put your money in that? If they're, they're going to, they're going to give you a piece of the company when they can't give you the money that you put into them, you know, to, to invest in the company. Ugh. No, nobody will want to do this. And and that's, they need stability. They need stability in order to keep going and, and sending a message of, we bring people, it's, it says, we have troublesome people here working at the top level. Our decision-making process for hiring and retaining and promoting those people is completely flawed. And the people that you're going to send out, I mean, editorial in that role is definitely an ambassador to the world outside. It's somebody who's going to be a public face. It's somebody who's going to, to have a persona in the company. And you, you 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 put somebody like this in it just it is absolutely chaos and uh, you you just at some point it stops being kind of uh, you know troublesome and just starts being comical and that's what that we've hit that state now where it just it feels like a, a parody of a comic company and it's again it's it's sad they they publish some great books uh, and and they're they've got a good license fit uh, it's 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 good stuff they had some announcements actually out of comic con around what they're going to do with gi joe and transformers and sonic anniversary and they're trying to piece some stuff up important things to do but now people are going to be talking about the guy who kept his job for five days it's crazy it's like is michael scott running idw yeah. fucking comics right now like <laughs> It's that's what it feels like. You can't make this shit up, Perch. No, I couldn't make this story up if I wanted to. That's exactly right. And and I, I last night uh, looking at this, I mean, one of the things I did, I went back and looked at this guy's Twitter feed and, and say, which is wondering if he, he had signed the pledge from did he take the pledge? pledge. He didn't take the pledge. So, you know, that's good. He didn't break his word. He did take the uh the uh the I won't be a racist pledge, but not the harasser pledge. So, you know, he's got a gray area to work with him, but I, all jokes aside, it's um, 
it's amazing that this is a, you know, a, you know, think about it for a moment. You've got a company who's making millions of dollars, losing millions of dollars. In a lot of cases, they've got deals with Netflix. They've got properties that are known around the world. They, they did have lock and key, even though they didn't make all the money on it that they, they wanted to, like you and I have discussed before. Think about a company that is making those kinds of brands, has those kinds of partnership and relationships. Yeah. Hasbro, and, Nickelodeon. Yeah. <laughs> And then has this going on. I mean, would you run your household this way? If no, nobody in their right mind would. So it it really it defies all logic. It absolutely does. Like you, you're speechless when you see stuff like this. But you know, it's on brand now for IDW, and it's going to take them a long time to clean up their reputation if they get that opportunity. But with an infusion of cash, it'll probably have to come with come from Howard Jonas again. Yeah. Does he want to yeah. put more money into this company and get paid with pieces of it? It, it's absolutely going to have to come from an existing investor or it's going to come from an outside investor who's going to insist and demand that the entire executive team turns over. And, you know, at this point, that may be the best outcome for them. But it, it is it is crazy to watch this. And it's, it's crazy to see brand destruction that way. You know, you and I both talk about uh, comics we don't like or. Uh, you know, diff different scandals, uh, things, you know, things that are going on on Twitter, everything else. Um, this, though, this IDW situation is is black and white brand destruction. <laughs> and Absolutely. And it's not a, a small, it's not an insignificant, insignificant part of the industry. This is the fourth largest publisher of comic books. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, um, I guess the, the good outcome in all this is you got to think that uh, Boom and Vault and some of these others are are saying, hey, it's 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 our turn. We're about to move up the stack here. But I, I mean, the other part that this blows my mind is, um, and somebody mentioned it last night to me, is, is isn't it comical that Xenoscope, the company that is known for doing um, more adult content, let's say, <laughs> has none of this stuff going on. I mean, what does it say about your company when, when Xenoscope is your more stable, more solid, more reliable management team? <laughs> That's crazy. It is crazy. You know, you almost look at humanoid and you're like, man, they're 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 kind of like in an ideal situation. They got crazy Mark Wade running the show. Maybe yeah. they should look over there and bring him over, give him a little money, stabilize yeah. the company. Yeah, exactly. It's like um you we live in a world where it's like, hey, that 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 Mark Wade guy could bring some stability to your company. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Like you said, you just you can't make it up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.